Are you from around here? Well, in a way, yes. I've been away, but I'm originally from Cane River. Wait, what are you? Some type of a horse trainer or something? <laughs> no, I'm not a horse trainer. I'm a poet. A writer. I always picture a poet sitting at a table, getting drunk and dying of consumption. <laughs> well, they're not exactly great, Marie. You know something, Peter? Yeah. You're different. <laughs> when it debuted in 1982, Cane River was already a rarity. A drama by an independent black filmmaker, financed by black patrons, and dealing with race issues untouched by mainstream cinema, says the New York Times. I want to make you take a bath. Been riding that old smelly horse, and God only knows what else. And I don't want you to see him again, Maria. Now, do you hear me? Why, Mama? He's a nice guy. Because he's a matoire, that's why. Now, what does being a damn matoire have to do with it? Your great grandmother owned the Melrose Plantation, right? An African woman who owned slaves. Because we don't know our own history, we don't know the value of land or the importance of owning it. And we're letting it slip right through our hands. Rare and fantastic, its raw subject matter echoes in films of the present day, says RogerEbert.com. Cain River is a work of visionary artistry and progressive imagination, says The New Yorker. Nearly four decades after it was made, Cain River is available to audiences for the first time in an all-new, loving restoration. Cain River.